welcome back now in this lecture we're going to look at email verification and that is to make sure that any user who creates an account on this application must have a verified email so let's see how this is done so on the application we have a user i already have an account on this application but i have not verified the email so if you look at the user's table on the php my admin you will see we have this email verified at column which is null but once we verify it will have the date that this email was verified so we are going to do that so that you can make sure any other user who creates an account must first verify the email so the first thing you're going to do or the first step is to make sure that the user model implements the must verify email this is the contract you must we are going to use so here i'm going to say implements must verify email contract and save that file the next step let's go to the routes file and here we are going to add that verify facade so here i'm going to say verify is must be true like that and save that file and then the next step let's go to the home controller and add another middleware that is the verified middleware so if we go to the kernel file we'll find we have that class so if we scroll down we have that this class called verified which is ensure email is verified class so we're going to use this key to assign on this constructor method so that immediately after the user has been authenticated then we should check if the email is verified and then redirect that user to the dashboard so that's what this constructor is doing on this with this middleware so that is to authenticate users and once a user has been authenticated then they are redirected to the dashboard so now we're going to add another verification method and that is another verification layer we are adding on this constructor method so that we can make sure that whoever creates an account must have a verified email so we have that authentication middleware and then add another one which is verified now we have two so let's copy also this one to the profile controller because again we have that middleware so that is also to make sure that a user cannot access their profile details without verifying their email first so once we are done save everything and then the next step we have to test this email and make sure that we have sent that to that email and then they click so that they can verify so to do that you're going to use an account with which has an SM, smtp and you're going to be using the mail trap to to do the testing so first let's go and open this file called .tnv open that file and here you'll see we, have, we need details for all these details that is the the mail ports mail username mail password and mail encryption so you can see here the mail driver is smtp host we are going to be using mail trap so let's go to the mail trap and create an account so i already have an account on mail traps so we'll just type mail trap so here you'll we'll say it says email safe email testing for staging and development if you scroll down you'll see whether you're a developer mail trap has the tools for you to help build great email functionality so let me log in i have an account already and log in so here we have a demo inbox so i'm going to click on that and here you'll get all the smtp settings we have the host port username password and out so here again you'll see integrations you can click on this and you'll see you have this laravel click on that and then i'm going to copy all these details and then on the 
.env file. I'm going to replace all these mail details with what I have copied and save that file. So once you're done, let's go to that application. And what I'm going to do is I'm going just to refresh because I don't have not yet verified the email. So just refresh. And as you can see, I'll not have access again on this application unless I first verify the email. So it says before proceeding, please check your email for verification link. If you did not receive the email, click this to request another. So if you go to the demo inbox, I don't have any email from this application. So I'm going to click request another. And here you'll see a fresh verification, verification link has been sent to your email address. So if you go to the mail trap now, you'll see we have this new email address. Click on that. And here you'll see it's from the quick guide. That's what we have. That is the name of this application. And then here you'll see if you did not create an account, no further action required. Regards quick guide. So if you're having trouble clicking the verify email button, you can copy this. As you can see, this is the URL of our application. So let me verify. And as you can see, I've been redirected to the home screen. So you go now to the PHP my admin and refresh this table. You'll see now the email verified that has some details, and that is the date and time it was verified. So now that means this email has been has been verified. So what about if you don't want to redirect the user once they verify email to this home? So for example, if a user creates an account, it's good that we redirect that to the upload picture view so that they can upload their profile picture. So to do that, you can modify a file in the HTTP, HTTP, and then you have controllers, auth, and then auth, and then you have this verification controller. Open that file, and here you'll see where to do redirect users after verification. And here you can see redirected to home. So I'm going to change this and add this view called profile picture. So profile picture. Save that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to log out and sign up or create a new account for another user. So register, and here I'm going to type another one. So John Doe, John Doe at Gmail, password, register. And as you can see, John Doe must verify the email. So if you look, go to the mail trap, you'll see we have a new email address. Click on that. And now, hello. Click on verify. And as you can see, we are being redirected to the upload picture. So now I can pick the John Doe profile picture. Upload. So here we are getting the avatar has an invalid image dimension. So let me, let's choose another one. So let's choose this one. Upload. And as you can see, the profile for John Doe has been uploaded successfully. So something else we didn't see is the message to tell or to alert the user that their email has been verified. So we are going to look at that in the next lecture.